Okay, now let's finish up by talking about how we're going to troubleshoot our WAN connectivity. If you recall that the debug command is used for troubleshooting and is accessed from the privileged exec mode of the command line interface. And a debug output displays information about various router operations related to the traffic generated or received by the router and any error messages. It can consume a significant amount of resources, uh, so it will slow things down while you're running it. And the router is forced to process, process switch the packets being debugged. And your debug command must not be used as a monitoring tool. Rather, it's meant to be used for a short period of time because, remember, it does eat up your resources. When you use the debug PPP command to display information about the operation of PPP, um, there are some. Of, here's some of the command syntax that you need to look at. Use the no form of this command to disable debugging output. So when we use the debug PPP command when trying to search for the following NCPs that are that are supported on either end of the PPP connection any loops that might exist in your PPP internet work, nodes that are or are not properly negotiating PPP connections, errors that have occurred over the PPP connection, causes for CHAP session failure, causes for PAP session failure, information specific to the um, exchange of PPP connect connections, using the callback control protocol or the CBCP used by Microsoft clients and incorrect packet sequence number information from your MPPC compression is an is here is an example of the output you would get when you use debug PPP authentication. You see that serial zero is unable to authenticate. There's no name received from its peer. It says that it's unable to validate CHAP. It's unable, unable to validate the CHAP response, that there's no password defined. It failed CHAP authentication. So the debug PPP authentication can give you valuable information. Along with debug PPP authentication, you have debug PPP packet. And that's going to debug the packets themselves to see what's going on. You can have debug PPP negotiation to see if there's a problem within the negotiation phase. And then you can also debug your PPP errors to see what's going on there. So there's multiple ways that you can go about um, using the debug command to see what's going on with your network. So that wraps up our troubleshooting and just a brief overview about what this entire section on point to point connections was about is we had the point to point links are usually more expensive than shared services however the benefits may outweigh the costs uh, constant availability is important for some protocols such as voice over ip sonnet is an optical network standard that uses st dm for efficient use of bandwidth we have our demarcation points in the point on the network where the responsibility of the service provider ends and your responsibility as the as the network person begins the cpe usually a router is the dte device and the dce is usually a modem or a csu dsu device cisco hdlc is a bit oriented synchronous data link layer protocol extension of hdlc and is used when you have other vendors because remember HDLC um, is a Cisco HDLC. Uh, you have synchronous PPP is used to connect to non Cisco devices to monitor the link quality. LCP is a PPP protocol used to establish, configure, and test, uh, also to terminate the data link connections. LCP can optionally authenticate up here using PAP or CHAP. So that finishes up with point-to-point -point connections.